Hi, and welcome to another edition of Your Health with Dr. Christie. My name is Dr. Christy Reisinger, and today I'd like to give a few theories as to why some people have severe COVID-19, where others only have mild COVID-19 symptoms. Some data we know is very clear. Men, older people, people that have underlying conditions such as diabetes, hypertension, cardiovascular disease, and obesity have more severe COVID-19 symptoms. Also, if you're exposed to a higher volume of COVID-19 virus particles, then you're more likely to develop a severe case of COVID-19. This is what we've been seeing with healthcare providers who are continually exposed to COVID-19. And lastly, we also know that African Americans tend to have more severe COVID-19 symptoms and have been dying more frequently from COVID-19. However, I'd like to discuss some other theories that are being put forth as to suggest why some people have more severe COVID-19. These theories are based on observational data. None of these have been proven. They're all simply theories, but I find them really interesting and fascinating, so I'd like to share them with you. The first theory has to do with the ApoE4 gene. This gene is associated with a greater risk for Alzheimer's disease. We've seen that patients that carry two copies of the ApoE4 gene may have more severe COVID-19 symptoms. Even when investigators took away other things that could cause more severe COVID-19, such as hypertension, cardiovascular disease, obesity, and even dementia, they still found that patients that had two copies of this gene tended to have more severe COVID-19. Well, why would this be true? The theory behind this may be because this gene is involved with cholesterol transport and inflammation control. The second theory has to do with blood type. We know that there are four different types of blood type, A, B, AB, and O. Investigators found that patients with blood type A were at greater risk for acquiring COVID-19. And conversely, patients with blood type O were less likely to get COVID-19 symptoms. Well, why would this be true? Investigators think that antibodies found in blood group O and not found in blood group A are somehow responsible for this. And also we know that patients with blood type O also have less pro-clotting factors. And we've seen that increased thrombosis during COVID-19 can contribute to morbidity and mortality from the disease. If you don't currently know what blood type you are, the best way to find out is to go and donate blood. During your donation, they'll gladly tell you what blood type you are. You could also get a blood test through your doctor's office. And finally, the last has to do with vitamin D deficiency. Investigators think that patients that have vitamin D deficiency may be at greater risk for more severe illness from COVID-19. We've already seen that patients with a low vitamin D level tend to have more upper respiratory infections. In 2017, The Lancet did a wonderful article evaluating multiple randomized controlled trials about vitamin D. In that article, they showed that vitamin D supplementation could prevent upper respiratory illnesses. And patients that most benefited were those that had an extremely low vitamin D level. However, they found that patients benefited most when they took vitamin D on a daily basis. Patients did not benefit as much when they took large amounts of vitamin D all at once. I do think this is something that we should be doing now. I would recommend that you go to your doctor's office and find out what your vitamin D level is. If your vitamin D level is low, there are easy ways to bring your vitamin D level up to normal. And then once it's normal, I would recommend taking a low vitamin D supplement like 400 international units daily to prevent it from getting lower again. One interesting note is that we know African Americans in general tend to have a lower vitamin D level because of their darker skin. And some investigators have surmised that maybe this is contributing to the mortality from COVID-19 in African Americans. We'll just have to wait to see and have more studies be done to investigate that further. Why is vitamin D so important? Well, we know that vitamin D helps to produce an antimicrobial substance that's found in the nose and in the lungs. This alone may decrease infection rates from SARS-CoV-2 or the virus that causes COVID-19. Also, in general, vitamin D lowers inflammation. 
At the end of the day, I think the most important takeaway is to make sure that you're not vitamin D deficient. And if you are, to replenish your vitamin D stores and then make sure with the daily supplementation, your vitamin D levels don't get low. Like I said at the beginning, all of these are theories. None of them have been proven. Thanks again for joining me.